Well, the head of the Defence Space Command has told Sky News Australian satellites and communication networks are under increasing threat at the moment. His comments follow reports of nations developing advanced space weapons and as more private companies launch crafts, creating more potential hazards. Major General Greg Novak spoke exclusively with our science and technology correspondent, Brent O'Halloran. And liftoff. The launches are near daily. Dozens of nations and hundreds of companies are sending thousands of satellites into space. They are essential tech for the billions of us on Earth and a vulnerable target for bad actors. We are alert to increasing threats in the space domain. Major General Greg Novak is the man tasked with protecting Australian space assets and the information they gather. He told Sky News the job isn't getting easier. Australia faces uh, a more challenging strategic security environment than we have even in, in, in recent years. Uh, the space domain is, is not immune uh, to, to those challenges. Challenges like preventing hacks and physical attacks. The 2022 attack on the American KASAT shows how nations or private companies can cripple satellites and communication networks. There's technology out there uh, that, we, that we're all aware of uh, in terms of um, might give a competitor the ability to disrupt or deny or degrade our access to space. Um, you know, that, that's something that I look to challenge. There are three methods of attacking satellites or the sites on the ground they transmit to. Enemies can jam a communication signal. They can dazzle a satellite, sort of like flashing your headlights at something to stop it from collecting information. Or they can send a false signal to it or its controllers on the ground. It's also believed some nations are working on new types of attacks. That can include the ability to sidle up to another satellite, perhaps to interfere with it or listen in on it. Um, potentially the ability to capture another satellite. While the US claims Russia is developing a craft to carry a nuclear weapon into space, which could destroy thousands of satellites and prevent others from operating there in the future. Russia vetoed a recent UN resolution banning nuclear weapons in space. And that just speaks to the, the seriousness which the, the global community uh, takes the prospect of weaponisation of space. Preventing any type of attack on Australian assets is made harder by not having our own dedicated defence satellites. Such satellites are being built. They should be launched within five to ten years, leaving us currently reliant on international partners. It's very urgent that Australia works towards having sovereign space capabilities when other, satellite, when other countries that own those satellites are in altercations with each other, we're going to lose those services. The government recently allocated an extra $12 billion for the two-year-old Space Defence Command as its head looks to turn it into a more prominent arm of the Australian Defence Force with more personnel going through advanced specific space training centres. You want to have a professional, dedicated space workforce. More than 20,000 satellites are expected to be launched within the next five years, making space defence ever more crucial. Promoting security and stability and the peaceful use of space, uh, ultimately that's in everyone's interests. Brent O'Halloran, Sky News.